Good morning everyone, I'm Dr. Ng Jit Beng. I'm a cardiologist and electrophysiologist at Glen Eagles Penang. Today, I'm going to share about what cardiac electrophysiology is about. It's a less well-known part of cardiology and maybe something new to the general public and in fact some doctors as well. Cardiac electrophysiology is the science of assessing the heart's electrical system and activity as well as treating any abnormal rhythms the patient may have. Electrophysiologists are cardiologists who have undergone further training in the subspecialty of electrophysiology after completing basic cardiology training. The types of patients we usually see are those who have abnormally slow heartbeats, abnormally fast heartbeats, irregular heartbeats, palpitations, or episodes of loss of consciousness in which a cardiac cause is suspected. In order to decide if the patient is having an arrhythmia and to diagnose the underlying cause, the tests that we can do include a 12 lead ECG, which can let us know how the patient's heartbeat is at a point in time, an echocardiogram, which shows the structure and function of the heart, an exercise stress test, which will let us know how the heart performs under stress, as well as if there are any blockages in the coronary arteries in the heart, a 24 or 48 hour holter, which records the patient's heartbeat over a 24 or 48 hour period, or if required, invasive electrophysiological studies in which catheters are inserted into the patient's heart. Now, what can you do to prevent heart disease? Diet obviously plays a very important role, and here you can see the recommended diet for good heart health. Apart from that, regular exercise, maintaining a healthy weight, avoiding harmful habits like smoking and excessive alcohol will help. If you have any other medical conditions like hypertension or diabetes, make sure that they are well controlled and go for regular health screening to ensure that you are in good health. Thank you.